are designing a new beer for the Bay Area Science Festival. And in order to come up with the recipe for the beer, we're taking four different yeast strains and fermenting them at two different temperatures. It's all the same grain recipe and hop recipe. And we're gonna compare what the flavors differences are. And we're voting on it at Nerd Night. And then that winning beer is gonna be the official beer of the Bay Area Science Festival. and joining us for our Science of Brewing Nightlife. So how many different total varietals of yeast is there? Well, there's probably more than 300 different varieties of yeast that are used to make beer. That is beautiful. Salud. We're at Giga Yeast Laboratory. I'm the owner, chief scientist, and head janitor here. Well, when you start your own business, I figured you needed three things. You needed courage, intellect, and creativity. Hey, Jim. Hey, Kishore. You do this often? I do. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, I'm excited to get the science beer started. Yeast are a unicellular fungus, Ascomites. So they're related to mushrooms. Brewer's yeast is a specific type of yeast called budding yeast, and it's Saccharomyces cerevisiae, or Saccharomyces pastorianus for lager yeast. Yeast are stored at minus 80 centigrade, which is roughly the temperature of solid carbon dioxide. We probably have nearly 100 strains on hand in here, but we're only selling, the only approved strains are about 30 to 35. You're adding a single microorganism, and it's not only creating CO2 to make it fizzy and ethanol to get us buzzed, it's making a huge range of different flavors and aromas, and uh, that, that transformation to me is just magic, no matter how many times you watch it happen. Oh yeah, is that gold? We are currently in Pacific Brewing Laboratory. I've been brewing for about seven years now. Once you get swooped up in the home brewing, it kind of never leaves. All right, Jim, so you know the science beer experiment. I think the first thing you would want to start with would be a NorCal ale. So it's a traditional ale, it provides very little esters or phenolics. So on the opposite end of the spectrum, you would want a Belgian. This particular Belgian yeast creates a lot of fruity esters and a pear-like aroma and flavor. We also have a Kolsch yeast. So this is an ale strain that can be brewed at very cool temperatures that creates a very clean beer, but it definitely has a back of some of these apple esters. On the very extreme end, you would want a lager yeast. Remember, Brian's brewing it, so you know, he has a little bit of a crazy streak in him. <laughs> hey, hey, Brian. You came at the perfect moment. I'm gonna need that yeast pretty soon. Because we'll I'm committed to three. Yeah. So I'm brewing four, mm -hmm. just to sort of hedge my bets. Oh, hey! My archer has arrived. How you doing? Good. Yeah. We're making a science beer. Let's get you a beer. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Thanks, man. That is not local. But that's cool, you know, whatever. It's cool. <laughs> All right, this has turned awesome really quickly. <laughs> yeah! That was satisfying. You know, in the end, that thing you're making is going to bring joy, and then it's also a craft. I'm really looking forward to Nerd Night and seeing what kind of response people are gonna have. The first thing you need to do when you're judging a beer is put your nose down in that beer. Who's had a Belgian beer before? Like, not Stella. Don't put your not fucking hand Stella. out of Stella. Hey, hey, but an actual seriously, beer. wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Seriously, not Stella, put your hands down. Cool thing about Bel Belgian beer is it gets most of its flavors, its aromas, most of its character from its yeast. This would be a good Belgian training beer for, for people who want to learn to drink Belgians. It could be a good choice, but I think I think the NorCal would be safer. Yeah, I like Kolsch a lot. It is a little bready. I do get this sort of band-aid-y, whatever you want to call it. Some of the hardest things in, in being a beer judge is putting a word to what is in the beer. Long story short, practice makes perfect, and the longer you do it, the better you get at it. So, so drink more beer. Get out and drink more beer. Do you guys want to know what beer won? The winner is the Golden Pear Belgian. I love fermentation because fermentation is one of the most 
amazing and complex processes that happens on planet Earth. My friends all thought that going into a life of making beer was an awesome idea. Everyone was like, yes, do it, do it. You're gonna have so much fun. But my mom never gives me advice, but this one time she gave me advice and she said, whatever happens, you're gonna learn a lot. Create this toolbox of skills from starting a business and running a business and brewing beer, then I've succeeded, so that's good enough for me.